God says, you're entering a new season where everything will start to go your way. It's time. You had enough lessons. You did the work. You overcame so much. You believed even when it was hard to. You never gave up. You pushed through it all. Now it's your time to receive my blessings in a major way. Dear God, I commit all my plans to your hands. Grant me the strength to fulfill them. Let me not lose focus on what I want to accomplish in my life for 2024. Let my dreams stay real and big. Let me not stumble on the way to accomplishing them. Let nothing distract me from accomplishing my future plans. Let everything in my life work together to make my dreams real. Give me the wisdom to know what to do. Let my speech and actions be positive. Establish my spiritual future and let your name be glorified in me. I know that worry is not your will for me. Please provide for all my needs, as you promise in your word. I give to you all my fears, cares, and troubles, as you have told me to do. Bring peace and comfort to my heart and help me to rest in you. God, make me more like you. You never hold my mistakes against me instead, you love me unconditionally. Even when I hurt, betray, ignore or abandon you, you never stop showing me grace, kindness and mercy. So please show me how to forgive others like you have forgiven me. Show me how to respect others like you respect me. Show me how to love everyone even my enemies. In Jesus' name, Amen. Loving Heavenly Father, in this moment, I humbly come to you, entrusting my dear family and friends into your embrace. May you shower them with your boundless blessings, safeguarding them from all dangers and troubles. Guide their steps with your compassion and wisdom, leading them to find true joy and peace on life's journey. When faced with difficulties and challenges, grant them resilience and wisdom, enabling them to overcome obstacles with courage and faith. Moreover, I express gratitude for the strong bonds established among us. May our relationships be filled with your love, supporting and uplifting one another. Please watch over the cherished individuals in our lives, allowing them to always feel your endless love and protection. In the name of our Lord Jesus, Amen. My prayer. If God has helped you in your life, comment Amen. Dear Lord, don't let us miss you this Christmas season. Help us to simplify our activities and traditions so we can focus our celebration on your birth. Thank you for being the Prince of Peace, and I ask you for that supernatural peace to reign in our hearts. Thank you for the simple but life-changing message of your love for us. In Jesus' name, Amen. Don't skip this prayer, God. You are the sole reason for my existence until this day. Only you are worthy of my praise. Thank you for being the guide in my life, the steadfast pillar of my spirit. I am grateful that you are always with me, never leaving my side, being my ultimate comfort. I love you. In the name of Jesus Christ, Amen. My prayer. If God is worthy of your praise, declare Amen. Where would I be without Jesus? There was a time when I felt lost. On the outside, I was okay, but within, I was battling. 
As I tried to figure out what I should do, my heart was troubled. Every day was difficult for me. I was going to all the wrong places looking for peace, and until I started following Jesus, I was never really able to find it anywhere else. It was only in his presence that I felt unconditionally loved and peace that surpasses all understanding. I still go through storms, but now I face them with the faith, hope, and love that I found in Christ. I may not have everything figured out, but he is leading the way. He calms the wind and waves. God is saying to you today, look up. Your help is in me, not in men. I am doing a new thing in your life. It shall spring forth for all to see. I am removing the wrong people from your life and positioning you for something better and bigger. They thought they hurt you, but I am the one who removed them. Stop crying over the loss and disappointment. You need to refocus your energy on the new things I am birthing in your life. Believe in what I am doing. Everything will end in your favor. I love you. There is nothing in this world that is able to stand against God. The devil may try to attack you with everything that he has, but when you put on the full armor of God and walk by faith, God promises that he will fight your battles. He will make a way when you don't see a way. In this very moment, God has placed you exactly where you need to be. You can trust him to work everything out. God doesn't give the hardest battles to the strongest soldiers. He creates strong soldiers out of life's hardest battles. Just when you are about to lose all hope, God sends you a big blessing to remind you that you have been heard. Psalms 28 7 The Lord is my strength and shield. I trust him with all my heart. He helps me, and my heart is filled with joy. I burst out in songs of thanksgiving. Amen, Tilda, if you believe it. You were handed a lot this year, but you didn't allow it to break you. Do you see how strong you are? Notice how resilient and how powerful you are. You are truly amazing, believe that. You are full of courage, strength, and bravery. Never allow yourself to quit, keep going. The Lord spoke to my spirit. Even the strong need strengthening. He said, prophesy my joy and I will strengthen my great warriors and mighty towers. And so it shall be, in these final days of December, supernatural strength and refreshing is coming to you. I see you vitalized. Every event takes place for a certain purpose. Change is brought about by that reason. At other times, it is painful. It might be challenging at times. The situation, however, turns out to be for the best in the end. Continue to have faith in God and trust in the plan that he has for you. Self-love is about knowing everything about yourself, however ugly or dark or bad your truth is, and accepting yourself with it. Self-love is about knowing how to transform your flaws into your strengths rather than hiding them inside you so that no one can see them. For I am convinced that neither death nor life, neither angels nor demons, neither the present nor the future, nor any powers, neither height nor depth, nor anything else, in all creation, will be able to separate us from the love of God that is in Christ Jesus our Lord. Romans 8 38-39 Keep standing firm on God's word. Keep declaring it. 
See through eyes of faith and not on the lens of doubts and discouragement. Stop focusing on what didn't go right and rejoice because God's plans are still underway. 2 Corinthians for colon 17-18 For our light and momentary troubles are achieving for us an eternal glory that far outweighs them all. So we fix our eyes not on what is seen, but on what is unseen, since what is seen is temporary, but what is unseen is eternal. I'm walking into 2024 with a clean heart. No more pain, depression, or sadness. If you did me wrong, I forgive you. If we stop talking, I love you. If you feel I did you wrong, I sincerely apologize for it. My heart will be pure and my head will be clear. No more worthless tears. No more hate. Give it to God and let it go. You may not feel fully ready for this new season to come, but God tested your heart this last season and you still chose him through your backsliding and conviction. Keep your head up high because God isn't done with you yet. He had to make sure you are his before he pours down the blessing. Do not rebuke an older man harshly, but exhort him as if he were your father. Treat younger men as brothers, older women as mothers, and younger women as sisters, with absolute purity. 1 Timothy 5 colon 1-2